this one here, first of all, the numerous degree is not lower than the denominator, right? You gotta do long division first then. Okay, we don't want that. Yeah, because the way we, in setting it up, we always set it up so that the denominator, we have some denominator that's simple, and then on the top we put the remainder, right? Something that's degree that's lower. So, okay, so first step is to reduce, uh, divide this fraction so that the degree of the top is lower than the bottom. So we, got, we can do that by long division. So the first number that will go on here will be x so to the power of 4 cubed squared and x. get this, bring the 1 down, and then it will just be 1. And then we get, oh great, it's 4x, right? So we get integral of x plus 1 plus 4x all over Okay, the next step is to actually express this by partial fractions. So we should factor this. So x cubed minus x squared minus x plus 1. Factor x squared minus, and we get x squared minus 1. So we get x minus 1 times by x minus 1, x plus 1. So x minus 1 squared times by x plus 1. Okay, so x minus 1 squared times by x plus 1. So we have to compare this fraction with this, right? a over x minus 1 plus b over x minus 1 squared plus c over x plus 1. Expand it one more. Now finally we have to collect the same powers to express in standard polynomial form. Okay, so x squared. The coefficients of x squared will be a and c, right? x is going to be uh, b and minus 2c and constants are minus a and b and c okay so if you compare that with the 4x a plus c has to equal to 0 right which means a is equal to negative c and b minus 2c has to equal to 4 and minus a plus b plus c also has to equal to 0 so if a is equal to negative c, I can replace the uh, minus a here with c to get b is equal to negative 2c. So then I can replace that with negative 2c. So negative 4c is equal to 4, so c is equal to 1, or negative 1. So I, I did a very informal thing here. Okay, I just sort of quickly back, went back and forth with my eyes and just solved it. But you know, if it requires a more detailed solution, you should write like equation one, equation two, showing your substitutions. So c equals negative one, then a will equal to one, right? Right, and then b will equal to two. Okay, so now we have everything we need to integrate. So this can be expressed as uh, 1 over x minus 1 plus 2 over x minus 1 squared and minus 1 over x plus 1. Okay, so 
that's integrated now. Half x squared plus x plus ln of x minus 1. Okay, minus 2. So minus 2, this is this x minus 1, right? This one here is minus ln of x plus 1. So plus constant. You can combine these two to be ln of x minus 1 over x plus 1. 